Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Chrome. In this video, we're looking at how to use Google Lens inside of Chrome to do advanced image searches. So I'm old enough to remember when the internet was all text-based, so I am thrilled that it has been full of images for a long time now. Now, as awesome as that is, online images can bring along some problems. For example, some images may be deceptive, saying they are something different than what they really are. This could come from photoshopping the picture or simply claiming it represents something else. Or images could have text in them, but because it's a picture, the text can't be selected. This can be a challenge for a student who wants to have the text read aloud or translated into a different language. Thankfully, we have a tool built right into the Chrome web browser to help with all of these problems. That tool is Google Lens. Let's take a look at how this works. So let's say you come across this picture on the internet. Supposedly, this is a picture of a shark swimming on a highway. The story is that there was a hurricane and the water flooded the highways so bad that sharks were able to swim in from the ocean. So here we have a car driving on a flooded highway with a shark right beside the car. So is this picture for real? What can a student do to figure that out? So Google Lens is an image search tool that is built right into the Chrome web browser. You can use it to find out information about any picture that you come across. This can be very helpful when trying to determine the authenticity of an image. Here's how it works. Once you find an image that you want to find out more about, begin by right-clicking on the image, and then from the pop-up menu, choose Search Image with Google Lens. This will open the Google Lens side panel over on the right-hand side. The Google Lens panel will list image thumbnails and links to websites where this picture has been discussed. Just scrolling down the list of thumbnails and reading the headlines may be enough to give you all the information you need, such as these websites indicating that the shark photo is fake or a hoax. However, you can click on any of these matches if you want to open up that website to read more information. And for even more details, you can also click on the link at the top of the Google Lens panel that reads Find Image Source. This will open up a regular Google search page with sites that also use your original image. Again, the titles and descriptions of the pages may be enough to inform you about the image, but you can always click on the sites to visit that page to read more details. Another helpful use of Google Lens is to pull text out of an image and then have that text read aloud or translated. Here's how that works. So let's say we come across an image on the internet that has text in the picture. In this case, we have an image that is a scanned page from the book Alice in Wonderland. Now, because this is a picture with text inside of it rather than just actual text, we can't select the text. If a student uses assistive tech tools to read text aloud or translate text, they may not be able to use those tools on this image. Well, that is where Google Lens comes in to help again. First, we begin by right-clicking on the image. From the pop-up menu, we'll choose Search Image with Google Lens. Like before, this will open up the Google Lens side panel with the matching sites. However, this time, we're going to use the Text and Translate buttons below the image. First, let's click on the Text button below the image. We can now click the button to select all the text, or we can click and drag our mouse to just select the text that we want. Now that Google Lens has pulled the text from the image, you can click the Listen button to have the text read aloud. Down, down, down. There was nothing else to do, so Alice soon began talking again. Note, there is also a copy text button here if you want to 
copy the text from the image, and then paste it into something else, such as a Google document. Another option we have is for the text from the image to be translated. From the same Google Lens panel, we can click on the Translate button below the image. Above the image, we'll now have two drop-down menus to choose the language we are translating from and the language we are translating to. In this case, we'll go ahead and choose Spanish. And once you have chosen your languages, the translated text will appear in the Google Lens panel. Again, you can click the Listen button to have the translated text read aloud. Abajo, abajo, abajo. No había nada más que hacer, por lo que Alice pronto comenzó a hablar de nuevo. And that's it. Google Lens is a great tool to help students and all of us find out more information for any image we come across online, as well as have the text from that image read aloud or translated. And thankfully, this tool is built right into Chrome and is only a right click away. Be sure to check out the other blog posts and videos in my series on Google Chrome to pick up more tips and helpful ideas. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much, and take care.